I just managed to do an awesome optimization where I turned 70 megabytes of data into just 90 kilobytes. And I'm just too excited about it, so I wanted to share this with you. Because that's like shrinking an entire adult human being into a tiny little kitten. And here's how I did it. Hi, my name is Sam and I am building my dream game, which is a city building game where everyone plays on the same planet. The optimization I'm talking about has to do with the different biomes that exist on planet Earth. Because when you build a town in the Gobi Desert, or the mountaintops of the Andes, your building should look very different. Or even just simple things like the trees and other elements of nature strongly depend on where in the world you are. And I have a great data set about all the different ecological regions, which is from the WWF, but there are some issues I found. For example, the resolution is not super high when zoomed up close, and that means that in some places there are parts of the land that do not overlap with the biome, which makes it seem as if there is nothing there. Or another thing is that using this data set creates very sharp borders between the different biomes. And when zoomed in very close to the surface, this can give some strange effects. On top of all that, this data is 70 megabytes in size, which needs to be loaded into the game, and for every single tree, every single bush that you see on the screen, it needs to check in which biome it lies to figure out what type of tree it needs to be. And as you can imagine, that slows things down quite a bit. So I went searching for a better solution, and guys, I think I found it. All I need is a rough estimation of where different biomes are. But I need it in a way that it doesn't take up much space and still allows me to draw colors depending on the different biomes. And what I did was the following. I generated a grid of points overlapping the entire planet. And then for each point I checked which biome it is in or which biome is the closest to this point. And all these biomes I store in a list. And because it's a regular grid, I don't even need to store the locations together with the biome. Because if the grid is spaced by one degree, I know that the seventh list of biomes will all be the grid points at the same latitude. And I can then just pick the tenth biome to know the biome at 10 degrees from the starting position. If I then ever need to check in which biome a certain tree grows, for example, it is super easy and efficient to just look up the closest point and just take that biome. Now all that is left is to make sure that I can still draw these biomes nicely on the planet, but that shouldn't be too hard to do either. Because I can simply draw a blurred circle at each point in the color of that biome, and when they are all stacked together, it gives a smooth blend of colors, just like a nicely cooked ratatouille. And there are also no longer places on the planet that don't have a biome assigned to them, because there's always a point close by. So the issue with the low resolution is gone. The issue with sharp boundary lines between biomes, gone. Storage and game performance, way better. I can now also easily play around with the amount of points that are in this grid, depending on how much detail I want in the biomes, at the cost of file size and memory usage. Anyway, I wanted to share this with you because I'm quite happy with the result. And if you want to know more about this game I am developing, I have other videos to satisfy your needs. Alright, bye.